morning everybody and welcome back to Baking with Joy. This morning I'm going to show you how I make my orange slice cake. This is a beautiful holiday cake. If you don't like traditional fruit cake, this is a great cake for the Christmas holidays. And the main ingredient in this cake is orange slice candies. And if you like orange slice candies, chances are you will like this cake. In this bowl, I have two and a half to three cups of orange slice candies that I've chopped up with a pair of scissors into little tiny pieces. And I'm just gonna dump these in the bowl. I've got a little bit of coconut mixed in with that. And that's our next ingredient. I have a cup of coconut. Shredded coconut that I put in my little food chopper and I, it's chopped up real fine. And we're gonna just dump all that in. Next is a cup of walnuts. And they're also are chopped up real fine. And we're gonna put that in. Next, I have one cup of toasted pecan chips. That's going in for a total of two cups of nuts. Now, if you don't like nuts, you can leave those out. Or if there's a different type of nuts you want to use, you can certainly use that. The last goodie that's going into my bowl is one cup of pitted dates. And they have like a little sugar coating here. And we're just going to dump that in. So in this bowl, we have two and a half cups of orange slice candies, chopped up, one cup of toasted pecan chips, one cup of pitted dates, one cup, cup of finely shredded coconut, and one cup of walnuts. Now, if you don't like dates, you can leave those out or you could use raisins in its place. There are so many options you can make with this cake. Okay. Now that I've got all my goodies dumped in this bowl that's going in this cake, over here I have three and one half cups of all-purpose flour that I've whisked up together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure one half cup of, of this flour and I'm going to dump it in this bowl. Now, in this little bowl, I have one teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm just gonna dump that in here, and that's gonna be our drying ingredients for this cake. So we're gonna go back to this bowl, and what we're gonna do is start with clean, dry hands, and you're just gonna just toss them about and get them coated with the flour. And the purpose of this is to keep all these goodies that's going into this orange slice cake from going to the bottom. Now the coconut probably wouldn't float to the bottom, but I just dump it all together in a bowl and toss it with a half a cup of flour. Okay, we'll come back when we get off for the next step. Okay, everybody, we're back. And I've got everything tossed up really good in the flour. And to this, I just sort of mixed in that teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna set that aside. Now, to my mixer, we're gonna start here. I'm gonna put in two sticks of butter. And to that, I'm gonna put in two whole cups of granulated sugar. And we're gonna cream this up. It's gonna take about 10 minutes. And I'll come back once we get all this creamed up and I'll go on to the next step. Okay, everybody, we're back. I creamed my butter and my sugar together. And I've also added four eggs, four whole eggs, one at a time, beat well after each addition. And I added a half a cup of whole buttermilk. Now I'm going to add my three cups of flour slowly in here. And to that, we're gonna add these goodies. Once I get all this mixed up, we'll be back. Okay, everybody, I got all my flour, my goodies mixed up, and as you can see, the batter is super thick. So it takes a little while to get it all mixed up, but I've got my bunt pan. You could bake it in a tube pan. I sprayed it thoroughly with uh, Baker's Joy, and uh, we've got it smoothed out. I'm 
give it a little tap tap and we're putting this in a 300 degree preheated oven for about two to two and a half hours and we'll be back okay everybody two hours of baking time I covered it with the orange glaze I'll put it in the description box Merry Christmas orange slice cake